Mm, watery eyes, scratchy throats, stuffy nose. Does that sound like you the past week? Well, allergies are in full swing, but did you know that sometimes your indoor air is just as bad as the outdoor air? Dr. Ted Myatt is here with some tips on how to clean up our homes and offices. He's an environmental expert, and he's here on our show. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's talk about some of these indoor allergens and airborne pollutants and particles that are going on right inside our home. What are they? So there's all sorts of, of things in your air that you can't see. Uh, there are uh, particles that are generated outdoors like pollen and mold spores that, that infiltrate into your home. So they come from outside, go through cracks and windows and doors and end up in your home at probably just about as high a level indoors as outdoors. And then you also have uh, particles that are generated inside your home, say uh, from cooking or from cats or dogs, all those things sort to mix together and that's what's in your indoor air. Yeah, and you kind of mentioned those cooking odors. There's also household cleaners that we as household owners need to be aware of. Why are these problems and what can we do to get rid of them? So, you know, odors are a particular concern for, for folks and, you know, great ways. There are, you know, several options for getting rid of those odors. So one example would be uh, a device like this. So that device has a HEPA filter, which is great for removing particles, removes essentially all the particles that you can think of, uh, mold, pollen, cat dander, anything like that. These filters do a great job. They also have a, a pre-filter or second filter that has charcoal embedded in them, so that helps remove some of the odors, say from cooking or cleaning or pets, so uh, it reduces the odors as well in your home. Yeah, and, and one thing I want you to address too is some of those household cleaners. I'm one of the people who can't fully open a window in my home. I live in an apartment, so I'm really able to just kind of open a little bit, have a screen, and that is the case for, for many people who also live in um, group homes, nursing homes. If you can't do that, household cleaners can also be a concern to us, correct? Sure. So the best solution, like you mentioned, is open up, opening up a window. So, you know, I've, I've been in the situation before where you're kind of cleaning the, the, say, the bathtub or the sinks or something, and all the windows are closed, and you can really start to smell um, the, the, uh, the fumes from those cleaners. That's, you know, what you want to avoid. So if you can open the windows, that's great. If you have an exhaust fan in your bathroom, that will work as well to run that exhaust fan or keep the doors open as much as you can can to try to get some ventilation going in those spaces so you don't expose yourselves to those uh, dangerous chemicals. Mold is really scary for a lot of us. Where do the mold spores exist and, and how can we detect them in our home? So mold comes from, you know, two places, definitely comes from outdoors. So mold is constantly growing outside. So we'll find that in the air outside and that those mold spores will migrate into the home. You know, the worst scenario is if you've got actual mold growth in your home. For a mold growth, you need water. So any place where you might have a leak, a leaky window, a leaky faucet, anything like that, you need to be aware of and make sure that that's taken care of mm -hmm. so you don't uh, have an exposure or you don't have mold growth in in your home are there any other products that can help us you know especially when pollen and danders and things outside are really kind of aggravating our allergies and we do want to keep the windows closed to keep them out are there other things inside that can help us too I don't think he heard us there. I'll make sure that I give the website so that everybody can follow up on many of the things that Dr. Ted Myatt gave us. He said earlier, you can go to the website honeywellcleanair.com to find out more about how to reduce those allergens inside your home.